During the Second World War, the Nazis conducted evil within the barbed wire fences of the concentration camps. After the conflict, many of the guards who brutally beat prisoners and inflicted great suffering and pain were brought to trial. However, many escaped justice. Still today, many ex-Nazi concentration camp guards are being brought to trial, many in their late 90s. But what shocked many after the war was the brutality of a number of female concentration camp guards. When they were brought to justice, their crimes were incredibly horrific, including executions, brutal beatings and treating prisoners with immense sadism. So join us today as we look at 10 evil female concentration camp guards. And remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Herta Bota was a concentration camp guard who worked initially at Ravensbrück in the concentration camp for women. She worked before as a nurse before she was then trained at Ravensbrück and sent to work as an overseer at the Stutthof camp. Whilst here she became known as the sadist of Stutthof where she brutally beat prisoners sometimes to near death. Following this she then transferred to different camps before she accompanied a death march of female prisoners to Bergen-Belsen. It was at Belsen that she was arrested as the camp was liberated and she was one of the former guards forced to bury the corpses of prisoners in the mass graves. Bota stated that some of the bodies were so rotten that the limbs came away when they were moved. She was then placed on trial at the Belsen trials and was shown to have been a ruthless overseer and she admitted to beating prisoners but did claim that she never beat anyone with a stick or said she never killed anyone. However, it was claimed the otherwise when evidence emerged that Bofa was seen beating a Jew to death with a wooden block, and also she was seen shooting prisoners. She wasn't executed, but was sentenced to prison time, but was released early in 1951. Hermine Brown Steiner worked in a number of different camps. She worked as a guard and she needed money to pay her rent, and quadrupled her income working in concentration camps. She trained at Ravensbrück and then transferred to Maginek after a dispute with a more senior member of staff. Maginek was near Lublin in Poland and was a labour camp, but also an extermination one. Braunsteiner took part in the selections of women and prisoners, deciding who would be sent to their deaths inside of the gas chambers. She also whipped a number of women to death. It was noted how Braunsteiner was known for her temper and immense rage, and that she threw children by their hair onto the trucks, who would take them to their deaths. She also became known as a stomping mare, as she killed women by stomping on them with her huge steel-studded boots. She was arrested by the Austrians and handed over to the British and was convicted of crimes against humanity, but was only sentenced to three years in prison. She was later tracked down to America and was later extradited and stood trial yet again for her crimes. Along with other defendants, Braunsteiner was sentenced to more time in prison. Johanna Langefeld, like so many female guards, worked in Ravensbrück and she was in charge of selecting prisoners to be killed by gassing or other means. Those deemed unfit to work or the sick and elderly were to be killed. She selected prisoners to go to the gas chambers. She was then assigned to build a new camp at Auschwitz and was in charge of selecting women prisoners yet again to go to the gas chambers. She was later transferred back to Ravensbrück and it was said that she was sacked from the camp after showing sympathy to Polish prisoners, and she was taken to an SS tribunal. However, this never went ahead, but she was fired before she worked at BMW. She was later arrested and extradited to Poland, but she managed to escape from prison, as she showed some positive treatment towards inmates, and she hid out in a convent. Later she did return to Germany, but she ultimately sent thousands of people to their deaths. Johanna Bormann was a notorious concentration camp guard who was known as a woman with the dogs. She worked at Auschwitz and would patrol the prisoners with her dogs and many times these were set upon poor helpless souls. During two incidents, the dog, a huge German shepherd, killed prisoners after Bormann encouraged it to rip the victims to death. Within Auschwitz, she was hated by the prisoners and would routinely take part in selections, deciding who would go to the gas chambers and who would live another day. The prisoners associated her with brutality and barbarism, 
and after the war she was placed on trial. For her crimes of the Holocaust, Johanna Bormann was executed and was hanged by Albert Pierpoint. Dorothea Binns worked at Ravensbrück and she served as an Alfserin. She was seen as a true star of the camp and was regarded as an outstanding guard by the SS. She worked in different parts of the camp and supervised bunkers in which prisoners were tortured and killed inside of. She became the deputy chief wardress and she was noted for observing the weakest or most scared prisoners and then she would brutally beat them with her whip or a truncheon. She also took part in training other female guards passing on evil knowledge to others, and a number of these women then went on to be just as savage. Binns was known for slapping, kicking, shooting, stomping on and abusing prisoners on a daily basis, and she would just kick prisoners to death at random, and select them to be sent to the gas chambers. She also had a boyfriend at the camp, and they were known for going on romantic walks inside of the barbed wire fences, watching prisoners being beaten whilst holding hands. She was later captured and was sentenced to death, and executed at Hamlin Prison, being hanged by Albert Pierpoint. Jenny Barkman worked at the Stutthof women's camp, and she was known for beating prisoners to death. She was also in charge of selecting women and children who weren't fit enough to be sent to their deaths inside of the gas chambers. She was so brutal and awful that the prisoners labelled her the Beautiful Spectre. She fled the camp when the Red Army approached, but was captured and then placed on trial. During her trial, she was known to have laughed through the evidence when it was told, and also she was said to have flirted with the guards, playing with her hair, showing a lack of remorse for her actions. In public, she was hanged in front of a huge crowd, along with ten other defendants near to Gdansk, and she was only just 24 when she was executed. Elizabeth Falkenrath worked inside of Ravensbrück, where she learned how to be a guard, but was then transferred across to Auschwitz-Birkenau, the extermination element of Auschwitz. She initially worked as a hairdresser, but wanted to do something different, so she then wished to work inside of a concentration camp. She was trained by Dorothea Binns, and Falkenrath became responsible for all departments of the female prisoners, and she became a senior supervisor. In this role she oversaw a number of executions and hangings, and she eventually became the commander of the women's camp at Birkenau. Under her command, thousands of women were killed, and thousands were treated terribly, being regularly beaten and starved. After the war she was sent to Bergen-Belsen, where she was captured, and like so many on this list was executed by hanging. Ilse Koch became one of the most famous Nazis tried by the Americans after the Second World War. She was known for her sadistic treatment of prisoners and became known as the Beast of Buchenwald. She first began to work as a guard at Sachsenhausen, where she met her fiancé. She was married to Carl Otto Koch, who became the Commandant of Buchenwald. Whilst they oversaw the camp, Koch took part in a number of experiments, selecting tattooed prisoners to be murdered and then skinned to take their tattoos. She then allegedly then had these placed on furniture. The cops spent lavishly at the camp, building an indoor sports arena, and living in a very lavish villa. She was seen regularly rubbing her lifestyle in the nose of the prisoners, but things came to an end, after her husband was sacked for embezzlement, and he was then shot by a firing squad at the camp he once oversaw. Ilse Koch was arrested later by the US, and all of these truths came out. She was never executed, but instead later took her own life after suffering from delusions that a concentration camp survivor would visit her in her cell and would abuse her. Irma Graves was known as a beautiful beast or the hyena of Auschwitz. She would become the youngest woman to die under British law in the 20th century and was a brutal and savage guard. Her father resented the fact she wished to become a concentration camp guard and she entered service at Ravensbrück as a volunteer before she worked as a guard at Auschwitz-Birkenau. She rose throughout the ranks, but at Auschwitz she became famous for her horrific treatment. She was known for beating some women to death using her whip and also known for selecting prisoners to go to their deaths. She randomly killed prisoners 
and would also set her dogs onto them. She would encourage her dogs to rip prisoners to bits and show no regard for her crimes during her trial. When she met the British executioner at Pierpoint, it was noted how small in stature she was. She wished for her death to occur quickly, hurrying the executioner, but Grace's crime still haunts so many today. Maria Mandel was responsible for the deaths of around 500,000 prisoners. It was said that she was involved in these killings, and she was one of the highest ranking officials at Auschwitz-Birkenau. Mandel became known as the Beast, and she took part in a huge amount of selections, sending prisoners ultimately to their deaths. It was said that a woman could never outrank a man there, but she controlled the female prisoners with absolute command. She only reported to the Commandant of Auschwitz, Rudolf Hurst. Mandel also took part in a number of horrific abuses, with prisoners being beaten savagely, starved and treated terribly. She even created a woman's orchestra at Auschwitz, and these played when the organised hangings took place. During her time in charge, half a million women and children were killed inside of the gas chambers, with Mandel signing the death lists, securing their fate. She was arrested after the Second World War, and for some time was held at Dachau Prison, before being handed over to the Polish. She was placed on trial and was then sentenced to death, having been found guilty in the deaths of so many prisoners. She was hanged and was the most senior female Nazi concentration camp guard to be executed. We hope you found this video interesting. As always to support, please make sure to subscribe, like and share, and once again, thank you so much for watching.